Hey guys, Mark here from Mixit Studios. We're doing Goose by Polyphia today. I did already try to film this React. A couple of days ago I tried this one. I realized after recording it that OBS, which is the software I'm using to record in, I realized that I didn't switch scenes after recording, so the whole video was a black screen. So yes, I hadn't heard this song, but now I have. I've only heard it for that one time. I know that this was off an EP prior to their last album, New Levels, New Devils, which definitely was the like real sort of turning point for their sound where they started to incorporate a lot more uh, modern music influences with like rap and trap music and so on. This track is an interesting one because you can kind of see it's like an in-between. I'm not sure I haven't heard the rest of the, the EP, but it sounds like it was very much a kind of transitional collection of songs and you could hear them starting to move towards the sound that they really refined on the full album uh, new levels new devils so yes uh, i'm gonna do a semi react to this one um, more just an analysis of the song yeah i hope you guys like it so yeah you've got that guitar tone that really started to come in more on the album, the last album, which I think prior to this, like there was definitely a shift in the sound of their guitar tones. See this build up here, I find this interesting because I haven't heard that much even though I've not listened to New Levels, New Devils extensively. This little build up here is very incorporating a almost EDM style build up which in like a lot of modern pop in recent years you've had a lot of electronic like dance music influences come in. Um, primarily from like EDM and house, uh, a lot of influences from modern DJs uh, like David Guetta and then Skrillex who really brought in dubstep, which is kind of what this then starts to transition into. <laughs> See that bass and the... Uh, drum pattern it has a like dubstep kind of influence to it nice bit there on the guitar where it then sort of changed to a synthy kind of sound I'd be interested to know how they did that, whether it was just um, guitar pedals or whatever, or whether that was, you know, they literally took that lick and uh, ran it through MIDI or something and then ran it through a synth module or synth plugin. One thing with this track is a lot of what's on New Levels, New Devils, there's a nice balance between the more electronic drum elements and then the acoustic drums. Whereas here, there's a lot more electronic drums which on the one hand works just fine for the arrangement and is very complimentary. I think it's just indicative of maybe where the band might start to go more, which would worry me slightly because for me, with them being an actual band and being so good at their instruments and the, the drummer is amazing, I want to hear his performances. So I don't want the electronic elements to detract from that too much. And that would be my worry maybe that as they start to develop these other influences more that they might end up swaying too much towards the electronic elements. I've got nothing against those sounds. I've, I very much enjoy, I mean, I enjoy all sorts of genres of music and I enjoy all the elements of, you know, this track has a like dubstep influences, like a lot of um, house, like modern house music. I can 
hear a lot of those influences in there and then trap sounds like the 808 snares and stuff i love all those kind of influences but for them as a band and what interests me the most about them is their skill as musicians so i don't want the production on the music to take away from their performances i want to hear just as much of that because that to me is part of what makes them so interesting as a band I do really like this build up to the drop though. About rising sim. Also, the goose. <laughs> the goose in the video. I love the goose. Um, they should have done that with goat. Had a goat in the video. I like the video. It's very cool. It's very simple, but effective with the use of lighting, how you've got that black and white with, you know, the twinges of red coming in. It's very effective use of lighting. And uh, yeah, it's a, a cool little video. It's fun. I re really like the feel of uh, when it kind of hits there, I guess you'd call it. The choruses after the, the drop that happens it has a very dubstep feel to it but then you've got like that vocal sample that came in goes back to those house music influences very cool there's a lot of cool production wise cool stuff going on here and then a bit of dance well actually not not dance um that little drum bit there that was yeah almost kind of bashment style The uh, bassist playing style is, is um, very interesting. I know both the bassist and the two guitarists, they use a lot of, oh, I forget what you call it, um, dual, so, you know, between a plectrum and finger style, um, so dual picking techniques. He does a lot of that, but like with slap and there's, I've seen a few Instagram videos and stuff from the bassist where, yeah, he just has a very interesting and clever playing style where he's fusing a lot of different techniques together. Very, very cool. And the bass tone and guitar tones as usual, just, yeah, so on point. I love the uniqueness of the guitar tones, which is something that they've really started to find in their newest music, as opposed to their earlier stuff where the guitar tones were a little more, you know, run of the mill sounding. That change in the guitar tone now is nice. Almost kind of chorusy, but I would guess um, with some room reverb added on or more of a distant mic technique. Because most of the other guitars are much closer sounding. Yeah, this is a very cool song. You know, again, just the way they manage to fuse influences but still make it sound very unified. It's just very, very smart, very forward thinking. As I said in the GOAT video, I feel like these guys are, you know, one of, of a few bands that are starting to pop up now, which I feel like very much on the, the precipice of just really bringing something new to these genres of music. That's really exciting. It's really cool to see.
and yeah the the mix is really on point you know technically for me what's going on here is more interesting from a production standpoint rather than the mix um i don't really have too much to say about the mix other than it's just a good mix um there's nothing like hugely stand out about it which sometimes is what you want you know a mix that just doesn't get in the way and you can just tune in totally to the song definitely for me you know being a sound engineer and quite often not being able to switch off that part of my brain when i listen to a song what is interesting here and stand out for me is the other than the playing of course which there's a lot of interesting stuff going on um it's all the different production elements and how that works into the arrangement like with that build up and the use of the rising pads as it then the drop comes in some of the layering of bass where you had some like low sub bass um like electronic sub bass coming in yeah really thickened things out and gave part of that dubstep feel that some of the song has um so yeah there's a lot lot to pick apart here a lot of interesting stuff going on but that's my thoughts on it really hope hope you guys enjoyed this give the video a like and subscribe hit the notifications bell all that stuff I've been Mark from Mixit Studios. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.